I mean, the one thing I can say is it pays to be naive. If I had understood the magnitude of what I'd taken on, I might never have done it. Sometimes you're so close to it that you don't realize what, you know, what a massive thing it is. When you have time to step back, you think, wow, <laughs> did we do that? The year 2012 brought the science discovery of the century, at least so far. A team of physicists may have found the missing link in our picture of the universe, the Higgs boson. It happened here, outside Geneva, at the laboratory known as CERN. We knew right at the start that this was going to be you know, a difficult endeavor. It was quite ambitious because uh, uh, some of the instruments that we needed uh, to clearly see these things uh, didn't exist at the time. The Large Hadron Collider is the world's biggest and most expensive experiment. It was designed to whirl beams of subatomic particles around a 17-mile racetrack and smash them together at the speed of light. To see the Large Hadron Collider come from you know, a 16-page report to a machine which costs uh, tens of billions of dollars, obviously it means a lot of work. Think of building an apartment building where everything is known to a couple thousandths of an inch. That's not so easy. They built two detectors, each seven stories tall, to record the collisions. The detectors were capable of taking 40 million pictures per second. And the first time we collided, the, no one had ever seen this before, except in simulations. It, it was like fireworks. It was the whole screen lit up. The amount of data generated was massive. Armies of scientists were needed to analyze it. Discovery is not like a Eureka event. It's statistical discovery. So it's very, very difficult you know, for someone to say, I've got it. They have to go through. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. We're looking in uh, hundreds of billions of collisions. And indeed, in total now, we've collected about, if I get the numbers right, about a quadrillion proton-proton uh, collisions have been observed in order to see the handful of Higgs candidates that we see. The elusive Higgs particle, it gives mass to other elementary particles. Without it, there would be no atoms, no stars, no life as we know it. All the other particles carry forces. So all these other, these particles are all worker bees, you know. The Higgs is sort of like the mother of, of everything. For nearly 50 years, it was just a theory until the morning of July 4, 2012. Scientists around the world gathered to hear the announcement. Today is also a special day because we hear two presentations from the two experiments, ATLAS and CMS, on their update on a search for a certain particle. I was very tired, of course, and um, you need a lot of energy to, to give this kind of talks in um, emotional energy, and emotional... Uh, uh, very solid nerves. Pleased to present here today. Uh, there was a lot of adrenaline. And I remember at one point holding uh, the wand up uh, with the laser and pointing at the, the screen. It was really quite shaking. And I said, oh, I must be nervous. In some sense, we were so much focused in preparing the results that I had not realized until I was actually here how big what we were announcing was and how big an event it was. And we conclude by saying that we have observed a new, new boson with a mass of 125.3 plus or minus 0.6 GV at 4.9 standard deviations. And the applause was so long, it was endless. In the audience was Peter Higgs, he was one of the men who had first predicted the existence of this particle all the way back in 1964. July the 4th is really you know, a fantastic example of the power of pure reason, the power of mathematics back in 1964, combined with you know, the physics and engineering prowess. Mankind has this wish has always had this wish to understand the world around them. It's curiosity that's driving us that in order to understand really how the universe is put together and what the fundamental structure of the universe is. 
finding this new particle really takes us a step forward. It's certainly the biggest discovery of the 21st century. The 21st century is young, so let's hope that there will be many more.